We are cruising along here in Chapter 4 in Black Myth Wukong, and you know what that means. It's time for another boss. Shocker, I know. Luckily, we here at Direct Gaming have the perfect guide for you on how to take down the Violet Spider. This is a shorter boss fight as it kind of toes the line between mini boss and boss due to the health bar, but it is an important story boss, so we're going to be counting it. As always, our guides are going to be broken up into three parts. Personal setup and skills that I had unlocked for the fight, tips on how to avoid the boss's attacks and how to counter them or how to simply deal with them, and finally, a full run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to use everything you learned in real time. All right, let's get started. Now, this boss fight against the ex-captain's past lover is not exactly a long or difficult fight, but there are a few things you do need to keep in mind, especially because she deals with poison, and that's never fun. In terms of armor, skills, and other things to bring, though, if you came here from our Subaji boss fight, then pretty much everything that you use then is going to be good here, especially if you encountered the Chapter 4 XP farm. You know, the one with the cave. While it's great for XP farming, this farm is only going to be able to provide you with will, silk, and sometimes gold. But again, it's that XP you're really looking for. If you're looking for something to grab extra materials, maybe for crafting or something like that, make sure you check out our farm video right here on the screen that you see right now. Otherwise, in terms of skills, basically go with whatever you like to use most. I like to go with pillar style along with some other stuff. Other people might prefer other things. Use whatever you feel is best. I mean, you already took down Baji as a boss, so this is going to be a cakewalk with Miss Spider here. So with all that being said, let's dive into the boss fight itself. Now, when it comes to Miss Violet here, you can expect the normal spider-based moves from any game, including shooting webs at you, which is going to slow you down if you get hit or step on that spot that they land. I know, shocker, right? If you do get stuck, though, simply just mash the dodge button until you finally get loose. Depending on what the boss is doing, though, make sure to do this fast, however, though, because there are times where the boss might actually start shooting even more webs at you or might even try to shoot you with other attacks or just come up and slap you with her claw slash leg things. So make sure you get out of the way fast enough. Otherwise, you're going to take some unnecessary damage. This spider boss even comes with its own venom shots that like to home in on you, so make sure you get those perfect dodges ready. In typical beast creature fights, this one comes with its own leg attacks. I always want to call them claws, but I know they're not. It's a spider for crying out loud, Talon. Come on, get with the program. With this particular attack, she will attack you with one leg and then the other, and then finally a double leg attack that kind of crosses it up. After the attack is completed, this is a great chance to freeze the boss so you can get some good damage in with a good combo. Now, this boss actually can get knocked down pretty easily, so make sure you save your charge points. And when you get up to at least two, preferably three though, because three is always the best, try to land that heavy attack as fast as possible, and you can knock the boss back a bit and get some extra damage done. Of course, I'm going to be sticking with my tried and true transformations like Azure Rock, which can help not only tank damage, but you don't have to worry about any of the poison on the ground that she's going to be shooting your way. Just make sure to have some pills when it comes to said poison, since the arena is going to start to get covered in it as the battle goes on. Now, there are a couple of moves you really need to be cautious of when it comes to this boss fight. If the boss starts to dig into the ground slash any kind of poison pit that you see there, do not stick around by the boss. Make sure you back up a good distance. If you get too close, you're going to get nailed with this big explosion attack and poison is going to be falling all over the place. And next thing you know, you're taking a ton of extra damage. When you get the boss to about a fourth of her health left over, she's going to start trying to blind you with this particular move here that you see on screen. Now, if you get hit with this, you're going to notice that the entire floor now is covered in webs and moving around is almost nigh impossible. Even if you mash the dodge button, you're going to get stuck again, so it can be a real pain in the butt to have to deal with this. This is actually where I would recommend using your transformation, regardless of what you have. doesn't matter which one you're using. If you're using mine, great. If not, use another one. But regardless, using the transformation while she tries to blind you actually worked out really well for me, and she just tried to attack me with a few attacks, and I just tanked them all, which really helps. Other than that, though, there's not much of this boss fight, really. She is a little bit agile, but overall, you should be able to do some good damage. I found a single combo could deal a good chunk of her health, no problem. Basically, keep it the attacks, though, until you defeat one of the most feared animals in the world. You know, by us, the monkeys. Now, here's a full run of the boss fight sped up a tad to show you how to take down Violet Spider. If you enjoy the guides, then the like on the video shows us that you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to check out our other Black Myth Wukong guides and content, along with our other videos in the top right corner and pinned comments. We're almost at the end of Chapter 4, which means it's almost time for that final boss fight. With that being said, though, I want to say thank you so much for watching the video. I've been Talon with Direct Gaming. I hope you have a great day and week, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Johnny.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.